principle and protocol of cross-linking and immunoprecipitation. Produced by Creative Biomart. First, definition. What is cross-linking and immunoprecipitation? Cross-linking and immunoprecipitation, called for short clip, is a method used in molecular biology that combines ultraviolet cross-linking with immune precipitation in order to analyze protein interactions with RNA or to precisely locate RNA modifications. Basic principle of clip. Upon exposure to ultraviolet light, Covalent bonds are formed between proximal proteins and RNA. These bonds only occur at the sites of direct contact and preserve RNA protein interactions. Workflow of CLIP Tissues or cells are under exposure to ultraviolet light. After the cross linked cells are lysed, the target protein is isolated by immunoprecipitation. Separate the RNA protein complexes from free RNA using gel electrophoresis and membrane transfer. Proteinase K digestion is then performed, in order to remove protein from the complexes. This step leaves a peptide at the cross-link site, allowing for the identification of the cross-linked nucleotide. After ligating RNA linkers to the five primins, cDNA is synthesized by RT-PCR. The last cDNA nucleotide is identified by high-throughput sequencing. There are three commonly used methods of CLIP. HITS CLIP, also known as CLIP-SEQ, combines ultraviolet cross-linking and immunoprecipitation, with high-throughput sequencing, to identify binding sites of RNA binding proteins. CLIP-SEQ depends on cross-linking induced mutation sites, to localize protein RNA binding sites. PAR-CLIP namely photoactivatable ribonucleoside enhanced cross-linking and immunoprecipitation, is a biochemical method, used for identifying the binding sites of cellular RNA binding proteins, and microRNA containing ribonucleoprotein complexes. The method relies on the incorporation of photoreactive ribonucleoside analogs, such as 4th uridine, and 6th theoguanosine into nascent RNA transcripts by living cells. Individual nucleotide resolution clip method, uses ultraviolet light to covalently bind proteins and RNA molecules. In this method, the protein RNA complexes are excised from the membrane, and treated with proteinase to release the RNA. This leaves one or two amino acids at the RNA cross-link site. The RNA is then reverse transcribed using barcoded primers. Because reverse transcription stops prematurely at the cross-link site, iClip allows RNA protein interaction sites to be identified at high resolution. Next, detailed procedures of HITS CLIP method. Step 1, ultraviolet crosslinking. Harvest target tissues or cells. Place the tissue suspension in a 150 mm tissue culture dish and irradiate the suspension for 400 mJ per square centimeter. Use a dish of ice underneath the tissue suspension as you cross-link, to keep the suspension cold. Step 2, Beads Preparation. Pipette 100 microliter of protein adina bead beads solution. Wash beads with 500 microliter of PXL two more times. Resuspend beads in 100 microliter of PXL and add an appropriate amount of your anti-RNA binding protein antibody. Rock the tube for 30 minutes to 45 minutes at room temperature, to bind the antibody to the beads. Wash the beads three times with PXL. Step 3, Cross-Linked Lysate Workup. Lyse cross-linked cells using PXL, sit the lysates on ice for 10 minutes. Add 10 microliter renaissance and 10 microliter RQ1 denase to each tube. Incubate at 37 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes. Add 1 microliter renaissance T1 stock to the solution. Incubate at 37 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes, shaking at 1000 rpm. Next, spin the lysates in a pre-killed microultracentrifuge at 90K for 25 minutes at 4 degrees centigrade. Step 4, Immunoprecipitation. Carefully remove the supernatant from the pelleted debris, 
and add supernatin to one prepared tube of beads. Rock the beads or lysate for one hour at 4 degrees centigrade. Wash three times with 1 milliliter ice cold PXL, and twice with 1 milliliter ice cold PNK+. Step 5, Kinase the Immunoprecipitated RNA. Resuspend beads in 80 microliter of PNK+, and add 5 microliter of phosphorus 32 gamma ATP, and 2 microliter of PNK enzyme. Incubate in a thermomixer at 37 degrees centigrade and centrifuge 1000 rpm for 20 minutes. Finish the reaction by adding 5 microliter of 1 millimole ATP. Let the reaction continue another 5 minutes at 37 degrees centigrade. Wash the beads 4 times with 1 milliliter of ice cold PNK+. Resuspend the beads in 30 microliter of PNK+, and 30 microliter of LDS loading buffer. Step 6. SDS page gel and transfer. Low two wells per tube of 10 percentage of bistrous gel. Run the gel at 150 volt until the dye front is at the bottom of the gel. After the gel run, transfer gel to a piece of nitrocellulose using the wet transfer apparatus. After the transfer, rinse the NC filter in PBS and gently blot on napkin to dry. Wrap the membrane in plastic wrap and expose to film. Step 7. Cut out cross-linked RNA protein complex. The RNA protein complexes, run at approximately the combined molecular weight, of the protein and RNA. Using a scalpel blade, cut out this band, and then cut the nitrocellulose into small pieces. Place these pieces into a single, clean tube. Step 8. RNA isolation and ligations. Add 200 microliter of this protonase K solution to each tube of isolated NC pieces. Incubate 20 minutes at 37 degrees centigrade with shaking. Add 200 microliter PK7 emuria buffer. Incubate another 20 minutes at 37 degrees centigrade with shaking. Spin down RNA at full speed in a cold centrifuge for 30 minutes. Wash the pellet with 100 microliter of 75% of ethyl alcohol and then dry the pellet in a speed vac. Count the RNA in a scintillation counter by Cherenkov counts. Use T4 RNA ligase for RNA ligations. Step 9, cDNA and PCR spin, wash, and dry RNA as above. Count the RNA again in a scintillation counter to quantitate yield. Resuspend the purified RNA in 9 microliter water and add 2 microliter of DP3. Heat at 65 degrees centigrade for 5 minutes. Chill and quick spin. The RNA is reverse transcribed into cDNA, and PCR amplification was performed. Step 10. Sequencing of the cDNA. We used 3 or 4 more rounds of PCR to salt the reaction using a spin column. Then, generate the 3' prime end. Incubate at 72 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes. Place on ice, and use immediately in the topo cloning reaction. Mix gently, and incubate 5 minutes at room temperature. Transform Escherichia coli as suggested, by the topo cloning kit. Miniprep and sequence individual transformants, as you would for your other sequencing reactions. If you want more information, or you have any questions about experimental protocols, and other biological knowledges, please contact us via email. You can also log in our website. You can find me at www.creativebiomart.net for more information. Thank you for your attention.